Imagine you're planning a bike ride tomorrow afternoon. You quickly check the forecast on the Met Office app. It's looking good. Wait a minute. What's this? The app also gives a 20% chance of rain each hour. This is also called a probability of precipitation to include hail, sleet and snow. But what does 20% chance of rain actually mean in the Met Office app? Is it A. 20% of the area will get wet? B. It will rain for 20% of the time? C. There is a 20% chance that it will rain in a particular place at a specific time? Or D. The raindrops will be 20% smaller than normal? Before we answer that, why do we even need a chance of rain at all? Why can't meteorologists just tell us whether it will be wet or dry? Often they can. For example, when a solid band of rain is predicted, everywhere nearby will get rained on, sometimes for several hours. When you see this on the weather app, expect a soggy bike ride. In other situations, we don't know for certain whether it will rain or not. There could be a few reasons for this. One common reason is that showers are in the forecast. Showers form when pockets of warm air rise, cool and condense. This is known as convection and it can appear to be fairly random. A bit like popping popcorn in a pan. We know that as the popcorn heats up it will start popping. But try predicting which kernels will be the next to pop and it gets a lot harder. Sometimes we know showers will bubble up. We know some places will get wet, others will stay dry. We don't know precisely where. It's a game of chance. Speaking of chance, in the Met Office app, what does 20% chance of rain actually mean? The correct answer is C. There is a 20% chance that it will rain in a particular place at a specific time. In other words, if it's an hourly forecast and you're looking at 2 p.m. on the Met Office app, there's a 1 in 5 chance that it will rain between 1 and 2 p.m. That's slightly more likely than getting a 6 on a single roll of dice. But for tomorrow's bike ride, there's also a 20% chance at 3, 4 and 5 p.m. So what about the chance of it raining at any time in this 4-hour period? It might be just 20% for each hour, but when the window is lengthened, the chance of rain at some point during a four-hour bike ride rises to around 59%. In case you were wondering, here's the maths. The probability of staying dry each hour is 80% or 0.8. So the probability of staying dry throughout the four-hour ride is just under 0.41, which is subtracted from one to get the probability of not staying dry throughout the ride. The good news is, it also works the other way. The chance that it will rain every single hour is less than 1%. Think of it again like rolling dice. The more rolls you take, the higher your chances of getting a 6. But you're also very unlikely to roll a 6 four times in a row. A mixture of numbers is most likely sunshine and showers. Sometimes you'll see the chance of rain in the forecast change. It might jump from 20% to 90% as you get closer to the time. This is simply because showers have now started and it looks like they're heading your way. The forecast is updated based on this new information. Weather apps are a great starting point, but for a complete understanding of the forecast, your best bet is to use the latest chance of rain percentages alongside other information. For example, forecasts that are written or presented by a meteorologist. And when it's time to head outside for your bike ride, Use the rainfall radar and the forecast rain on the Met Office app. These will help you monitor where showers are forming and where they are most likely to occur during the next few hours. That way, you can enjoy a bike ride with fewer surprises. Thank you for watching. You now know exactly what we mean in the UK when we talk about chance of rain or probability of precipitation. And finally, check out our Up in the Air playlist for more videos on uncertainty and probability in weather forecasting. A new one will be added each week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss these updates.